tool today we will we will be discussing the fourth lecture that is tillage tilt objectives of tillage characteristics of ideal seed bed effect of tillage on soil properties coming to the to topic tillage is not a new practice it is as old as agriculture jethro tool can be considered as father of tillage so after harvest of the crop the soil become hard and compact because first one beating action of rain drops so beating action of rain drop separates the soil particles from soil aggregates and these soil particles clog the soil pores so because of this reason the soil surface will get hardened next one irrigation and subsequent drying another one movement of implements and laborers also so because of these practices the soil become very hard and compact i mean to tillage the definition it is a physical manipulation of soil with tools and implements to result in good tilt for better germination and subsequent growth of crops is called as tillage whereas til tilt means it is a physical condition of the soil resulting from the tillage operation is called tilt so we have different implements for following the tillage operations the first one is mould board plow mould board plow generally it operates it generally did four operations at a time it cut the soil it lift the soil it turn the soil and it pulverize the soil so this is mould board plow plowing can be done with the country plow also generally farmers are practicing it at village level and plowing can be done with 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 cultivator and coming to the characteristics of good tilt good tilt a soil should be mellow friable crumbly and adequately aerated and coming next one a soil is good tilt in is porous so the capillary and non 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 capillary pores are equal capillary and non non capillary pores means the pores which contains the water molecules those are called capillary pores and the pores which contains the air that is not, nothing but the non capillary pores so this capillary and non capillary pores should be equal at that time we can say it is a good tilt so this facilitates free move, free, move, free movement of air as well as water higher percentage of larger aggregates which are greater than 5 mm in diameter are necessary for irrigated agriculture with higher percentage of the smaller aggregates that is 1 to 2 mm diameter are desirable for the dry land agriculture for conservation of moisture and tilt can be coarse or fine for sandy loam soils fine kind of tilt is required for heavy black soils rough cloudy surface rough cloudy conditions are coarse tilt is enough with very fine tilt surface gets caked caked up and it when it dries after a rain so because of this the soil is unable to absorb the rain water and it, it results in runoff losses so in this image you can see the tilt the tilt so it is nothing but the resultant form of the tillage operations and coming to the objectives of tillage it produces a satisfactory seed bed for good seed germination as well as good crop growth and to make the soil very loose and porous and to also it aerates the soil and it controls the weeds and to remove the stubbles the previous crop stubbles which may be harbor for the pests and diseases so by tillage operations we can also remove the stubbles of the previous crop and to expose the soil inhabiting pathogens and insect pests to sun and uh, and kill them and to break hard pans in the soil so by breaking to break the hard pans the tillage operations can be followed so by break um, after breaking of hard pans it the, the infiltration of the water can be improved for deep tillage and inversion of the soil also the tillage can be practiced and for incorporating of bulky organic manures like fim and compost can be possible by following the tillage operations and to warm up the soil a minimum soil temperature is required for the seed germination so to increase the warm up, warm temperature to increase the warm so the tillage operations can be followed and to also increase the infiltration rate infiltration means the entry of the water into entry of the water from the soil surface to soil profile is called as infiltration so to increase the infiltration rate also the tillage operation can be followed and effect of tillage on soil physical properties so here the soil physical properties are soil texture soil structure pore space bulk density particle density and soil color one by one we are going to discuss here it is very very important question so coming to the soil structure so soil structure means here is nothing but the arrangement of soil particles arrangement of the soil particles uh, 
soil particles are nothing but the soil structure so you can see here different structure different soil structure so that is granular blocky prismatic columnar platy and single grain so soils with crumbly and granular granular clots are considered as soils with good structure and coming the arrangement of the soil particles with crumbly and granular nature is considered good soil and best size of soil aggregates for the good crop growth is 1 to 5 mm in diameter small aggregates may clog the soil pores and larger ones may have large have large pore space so tillage improves the soil structure when done at the soil optimum soil moisture level and tilling of the soil when it is too wet wet conditions it spoils the soil structure and plowing a dry soil is very difficult and will not will not help in improving structure so coming to the soil structure so soil structure soil texture is nothing but relative proportion of different soil particles that is sand silt clay and coarse sand is that is where the particles are 2 to 0.2 mm in diameter and fine sand that is 0.2 to 0.02 mm of particles can be considered as fine sand and silt particles which contain which are 0.02 to 0.002 mm in diameter whereas clay particles that is less than 0.002 mm of soil particles can be considered as clay and you remember tillage has no effect on soil texture so the relative proportion of different soil particles sand silt clay will not affected by the tillage operations in coming to the pore space when a field is plowed the soil particles are loosely arranged and automatically the pore space is increased and when the soil is in good tilt the capillary and non capillary pores that is micro pores and macro pores we can say and the micro pores which contains the water and the macro pores which contains the air so this capillary and non capillary pores would be roughly equal after the tillage operation that this this is also facilitates free movement of air and moisture in the soil so that is regarding pore space coming to the bulk density so it is nothing but the when the loose is when the soil is loose and the soil volume increase without any effect of weight so you have to you have to understand here the bulk density means weight of the soil by volume of the soil so the bulk density of the clay soil is very low that is 0.05 meter cube whereas sandy soils the bulk density is 1.25 to 1.30 1.30 meter cube so bulk density of tilled soil is less than that of untilled soil so remember the particle density is always higher than the bulk density why because in the bulk density in the denominator we are taking the total volume of the soil that is the soil solids as well as the pores whereas in the particle density we are taking in the denominator only only the particle volume soil particles volume so coming to the particle density particle density is not altered by the tillage so particle density um, formula you can write weight of the soil by the volume of the solids volume of the soil solids whereas bulk density in the denominator we are taking weight of the soil by in the denominator that is volume of the soil solids as well as the pore space so next one soil color organic matter is mainly responsible for the dark brown to dark gray color of the soil and tillage increases the oxidation and decomposition of the organic matter resulting in fading of color so this is regarding the fourth lecture thank you very much